Hello, my name is Paul DeWinner with AEA Technology, and today we're going to be talking about the BIA Echo. There are several models of it. It's a network analyzer, handheld, goes from 4 megahertz to 2.5 gigahertz. And we're going to cover uh, the different features of it in these segments, so you can choose which segment you wish to uh, view. In this segment, we're going to talk about Echo PC Vision. The software is supplied with all of the Echo models along with a USB cable for communicating with your PC. Once loaded on the PC, Echo PC Vision allows you to download either live plots, have remote control of the Echo, or download plots stored in the uh, Echo's memory. This will be just an introduction, and I'll start by first connecting up the Echo, turn the unit on, and be sure it's at the measurement screen where you see it now. The next step will be to double click on Echo PC Vision. Echo PC Vision will go out on the USB port and interrogate the Echo for the model that's out there and the information of the testing that it's doing. Uh, an indication that it's made good communications is when Echo PC Vision comes up, you'll get the same center frequency uh, on the PC as you have on the instrument. Now, I'm going to adjust the graph here. There are uh, chart settings that can be changed and turn on auto scaling so I won't have to worry about doing the scaling. We're going to let PC Vision do it for us. And I'm also going to turn on two more graphs to show you as the impedance angle and the reactance. It will go out, and this time we'll do a single sweep. The acquisition mode is up here and allows you to acquire to, uh, live plots off the uh, Echo, either single one plot at a time or continuous mode. We'll do a single acquisition and show you the data first. And here are the plots in color codes. The uh, reading that's shown over here in green as a green plot turned on here and the scale for that with the L is on the left hand side of the plot. We have on the uh, uh, magnitude, the angle, the resistance, the reactance, and the SWR plots. The angle is this large brown graph through the center. If we wish to turn off plots to simplify things, all we have to do is touch the buttons and remove the plots from the graph. If you wish to see a Smith chart, there are tabs at the top to operate Smith chart mode. And this is what the Smith chart looks like for that antenna. There's also a continuous wave mode. If we place it in continuous wave mode, we will get purely a numerical plot uh, for the VIA. If you're operating the spectrum analyzer or the frequency domain reflectometer, you can set that up too. For people who prefer just a simple SWR plot, we have a graph showing just SWR on the instrument. Now this is just a brief introduction to it. Uh, time doesn't permit uh, covering all of the features in here. Uh, if you wish to upload from the memory, you're pressing the memory button, we'll connect with the unit, and it will upload a list of the uh, tests that are stored in memory, and you can then use a uh, slide bar selector to pick which test you'd like to see uploaded onto the PC. Some of the other features provided. Under the file menu, you can open the chart that you've stored on the PC. You can save the chart onto the PC. You can export the graph, export the graph and numbers, export data, print, and so forth. For a complete explanation of this, uh, AEA Technologies webpage has copies of Echo PC Vision and you can download it at no cost and try it out yourself with the uh, stored test results or the archive charts that come with it.